So Rome. Rome is a first-person dark atmospheric exploration game made by students at SMU Guild Hall. Not sure if that's how you say that school, but Guild Hall looks like. Players navigate an increasingly chaotic and psychologically unnerving environment to reveal the fate of Haley Rome. Proceeds from your purchase on Steam go to support student development. Um, it says proceeds, but uh, it's actually free. I don't know if there's like a donate button or something, but I downloaded this for free. I think I looked like a couple days ago and it was like an hour game or like a two hour game. Like it wasn't like super long, but it wasn't also like one of those 10 minute games, you know? So, um, unnerving. Great. Perfect. Let's get into it. I've been mentioning before I play any new games that I do tend to scream. So you may want to turn down your headphones. So I don't blow out your eardrums. New game. Nice. The yeah. dying record. Okay. Sorry I'm late, D. Traffic was awful. Derek, where are you? Sorry I'm late, D. Okay. Dude, all right, I just gotta say, from Phasmophobia, which I was just playing to this, I love when there's like real pictures of people in these games, because it always just throws me off for a second. Like these wedding photos are like actual people, maybe like that's like a game developer or something, or a friend. It's just really funny to me. It's our wedding photo. Derek looks so handsome that day. So this is Derek's wife. Anything else to look at? No. Okay. Hearing some rain outside. Let's look in the sling room area. Storm is going crazy right now. Brutalism in the 21st century. It's a textbook from architecture school. I still reference it almost every day. Okay. Yes, chocolate. Wait, did Derek really eat all of them? He couldn't have waited for me? So Derek ate all the chocolate. I don't know if that's implying that he wasn't the only one here. What? Seems out of character for Derek. The pillow on the ground. I don't know if that's significant. Maybe there was a scuffle. Maybe Derek fell asleep. Let's see, let's go down this hallway. Very nice toilet. It's expensive. The place looks very expensive. They got some dough. Some art on the walls. Some music. Can run with shift, which is nice. That door open that, yeah. I think the music's coming from this room right here, so we're gonna see something weird right now. It's probably gonna be here. Okay. Explore this area first. We got a note. Haley's shopping list. Eggs. Pea milk? 
What's pea milk? Never heard of pea milk. Is it green? I'm gonna check out pea milk. Morning tea, powdered beetroot, super sugar oat bombs for Derek. He's not a fan of this. Super sugar oat bombs. Can't believe that Derek can eat those. I mean, guess it's food. I'd never eat them. I thought that was gonna be a note from Derek saying where he is, but fortunately, there's this shopping list. Got potato chips down there. Who left this door open? Guessing Derek. Does this connect over here? Yeah, so this is the same area. Some boxes marked fragile. I don't know if that means they just moved in or packages they received, I'm not sure. Got a little little chair. Can't believe how tall I made this chair scale model. When I put it besides a scale counter, well, let's just say I made a new chair. It's like an architecture type thing. Looks like this is her office. Same book, same textbook as before. Got some blueprints. Maybe she designed this house? Go around this area. Okay. It's awful outside. I'm glad I made it home safe. Barely remember the drive. Barely remember the drive, that's a weird thing to say. A pool, can we go in? No. Oh. Really nice pool, holy crap. Imagine having that indoor pool. Keep just looking around to make sure I don't see anyone in the distance or anything. Huge ass house. Can't open these doors. Okay. Okay. Towers, I believe. This is crazy. And this is like an art gallery. Uh, dark images. This is Derek's. I mean, it's fine. It's not art, though. Okay, so kind of is really critical of Derek's stuff. I don't know what this hand statue means, but I liked it. I liked it enough to buy it, anyways. She likes this enough to buy it, but she doesn't like her husband's art. Interesting. This way. The other side of the office. Where haven't I gone?
Making sure I went through all the doors. I make these scale models all the time for work. What's it doing here? This should be at the office. Something... I'm assuming she means the office, like not the office in the back, but an actual other building. Okay, the stairs is where we need to go next. Let me double check this area. Yeah, for the doors. Going upstairs. Okay. Really creepy music just to have playing in your house. Derek? Seriously, cut it out. This isn't funny anymore. Where are you? <laughs> the house is huge. Kind of getting lost. Going back because I don't want to. Wow, I could go that way too. What should I do? I guess I'll go deeper in this part and then I'll turn around and go down those. Can't imagine living in a place this big. Like so many rooms you wouldn't need to go into. Is this their bedroom? Or just a bedroom? Okay, so I'm guessing that connects to the other doors down there. Okay, another office. This is a really cute picture of us. I wonder how much Derek looks at it. Another photo from their wedding. Damn, look at these multiple monitors. Like two TVs, or is it display with the computer monitors display? Like, no, that's crazy. Office is insane. So from the description I read on Steam, it says this character goes missing. So, um, it doesn't say her husband goes missing, so. I have a feeling he's gonna be waiting for us. Okay, well. Needs to be on the third floor and it's the only door. What do we got here? The Working Fear and other stories, HP Lovecraft. Working Fear by HP Lovecraft. I love scary stuff happening as long as it's on a page. Do that. Or in a game. Or uh, a movie. closet. Okay. Seriously? Who moves a tub? He moved the tub. I guess that's good.
it's locked. Just imagine that. I guess the house is so big that like. What's going on? This can't be real. I didn't catch what that voice said. Demon. This is like a whole side of her house that she doesn't exist. Wait, why are there moving boxes here? What's going on in my house? They're not moving. Ah! <gasps> Trying to get a little more intense. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So this is a different office that's almost said identical to the one in here. So, I mean, I'm guessing it's your husband doing this because picture of them, same layout. Wait, I was going to have a wall here when I was first designing this place. What's going on here? Like the house is designing around her. And it goes this way. Tons of bathrooms and offices. Bathtub. Wait, so just where we came? This house isn't right. It's my house, but it's not my house. We like went through a portal or something. It's like everything's backward. That's blocked off like those cement beams that keep popping out. Ah. Isn't this real. isn't real, right? Walls don't just appear in a house. Not that I'm aware of. What? Never happened to me, to be honest. Of course the front door's locked. Damn it! Come on, Haley. Breathe. Walls are leading us somewhere. Cool. Okay. So this is a dream, right? I can deal with this. You hit your head. I didn't make this. Who did? I think this is gonna be like a doppelganger for like the movie Us. In this side of the house. Where did my other sink go, and how did it get replaced with this scale model? Oh wait, is she in the the model? I think we're in the model. Like some Twilight Zone shit. I think we're in the model and rebuilding it. That's why um, the walls keep coming up. I think maybe we'll be really tiny. Oh, through the window or something? Well, that's different. Cool. 
It went from me thinking her husband was going to murder her to thinking her in a parallel dimension inside the model house. I used to have this nightmare as a kid of, of this painting. How did this get into her house? It's almost like that, um, thing everybody sees or lots of people see when they're in sleep paralysis, the guy with the top hat. I think that's what that might be getting at. At least that's how I'm interpreting that drawing. Okay. Ooh, now it's filled with those. Creepy. Ah. God! Okay. Haley, you can do this. It's just like that dream you have where you're presenting naked in front of the board. <laughs> Except this isn't a presentation, because I can do those. This is a weird nightmare version of my house that I'm trapped in, and I don't even have my lucky bracelet. Right, Haley. We've got to keep moving. Lucky bracelet. Ah! Thought there was a person charging me. We're in her office again. Whew. Dining room table. Lights went out. So this is just like the tub, right? right kind of like seems like constructing a model Ooh. this looks ominous I put this back Derek doing a ritual of some sort. Why not? It's not like anything else in this house has made sense so far. Is that a door? Oh, then you can stop it when it's upright. At least I'm not running away from him, right? Oh god. Catching what it's saying. Leave or be next. Ooh. If this is a dream, I should be able to just make it stop. So why can't I make it stop?
That's freaky, going down those stairs. Elevator. Elevator? It's gonna go down, isn't it? Through the looking glass. Alice made it through this, right? Am I going to? Kind of reminded me of Alice when the door was spinning. And I had to stop it when it You better bundle up. This storm is going to be unrelenting, but don't give up. It will be clearing up eventually. In other news, Main Street will be closed down this weekend for the Run for the Children 5K Marathon. If you want to get downtown, you'll need to take the 32 or the side roads. On Pearl Street, there will be a candlelight vigil tonight, commemorating the untimely death of an architect who worked in that building. Investigation is still underway, but initial reports have found no traces of foul play. The hell? Okay, so the water is in the pool. It's like on the ceiling. And candles from the candlelight uh, vigil, is that how you say the word? They're all over the place, so she's been dead. She's hearing a news report from when she died. I don't even know where that was coming from. Oh shit. Keep moving forward. Shit. So this is like her afterlife. Some weird shit going on over here. I, I must have fallen asleep at work, right? I don't remember the drive home. I like how it's going to the heartbeat. It's crazy. I didn't get that so it was getting at with the ride home thing. What the fuck? It's on both sides. Goddamn elevator. Oh, okay, this is different. Yeah, art all over the place covering the ground. And then the benches on the ceiling. I don't know this painting. It looks nothing like the house. It looks like... It looks like death. Puzzle is a little too easy, but kind of like uh, the little kids have like the shapes that are different, little plastic pieces that are different shapes, and you have to put them in the hole. It was almost like that simple. I don't want to have to do that again. It was this. I was gonna say, is this our office at work? But I don't think so. We got boxes defying gravity, blue paints over the walls, and their work stuff, and then like post it notes. Oh!
That is cool. Like that. What the hell is happening? Cool. Oh, but the door is down there. Jump, huh? <gasps> Why me? What did I do? Okay, so I gotta stop this at a certain point. Look at that. All those hands, it's like that art piece she bought. Okay, so maybe that's not where I need to stop it. I just didn't have it perfect. Why is this happening? I just wanna go home. Derek made this. Where is he? I need to find him. Hmm. Got more walls closing in. Abstract metallic art all over the place. Derek? Oh, Derek, thank God! Wait! Where are you? Derek, sweetie, where are you? No! No, I'm right here! I'm right here, Derek! You have to breathe. Like he's crying because she died. Very good. boxes because he's moving out because she Is going on to infinity. Fuck. <laughs> That's cool. What is this place, anyways? Suffocating to be inside.
dead end. And another way to go. So what? Am I just supposed to wander forever? Isn't there a point to any of this? Here? Whoa. Did I just go th through it? Did. I get it, okay? I'm dead. Dead. So what the hell is the point of any of this? Do you want me to do something? Or do I just keep walking forward forever? I don't know what the point of any of this is. And I just want to go home. Is there a front door? Sorry, I'm late. Wait, no. I know what happened. I know where I am. That was just gonna we loop. always talked about how we were going to install blinds to stop the TV from glaring, but honestly, we just get sidetracked during those conversations and forget to watch TV. What do we got here? Renowned architect killed in a tragic accident. I died in an elevator crash. I died in an elevator crash, and Derek has to keep living without me. I miss him. Wow. Tragedy stuck. Tragedy struck late Tuesday night when, in the middle of a press conference, chaos occurred right in front of the eyes of the audience. Haley Rome, which is the name of the game, Rome, 27, famous architect, responsible for some of the more intriguing buildings in the city, died in a sudden and horrific accident. An elevator plummeted from the top floor of an office building, crashing down into the lobby. There was a massive crack, almost like a whip, said one attendee. I didn't know what it was at first. I thought it might be thunder from the storm outside, but then I heard the crash and I knew that something was wrong. The elevator had been in operation for 20 years without an issue, and it is unclear what caused the elevator cable to snap. Investigator Duran said in a press conference that while we might not know what exactly caused this elevator something at this time, we do not suspect any foul play. The investigation is ongoing and will continue to explore every avenue. What caused the elevator to crash basically? September 6, 2015, the New Daily Bulletin. The manufacturers, Emnis Elevator Corp, are cooperating fully with the investigators and have stopped the operation of all other elevators of similar models until the root issue has been identified. It was pure chaos. Nobody knew what was going on. Everybody just knew that something was wrong and that somebody was hurt. Bystanders had no idea that there had been somebody in the elevator until emergency services arrived, opening the elevator doors. Speaking to her co-workers, Haley Rome will be deeply missed. She was determined, devoted, incredible to watch in presentations. She knew what she wanted and wasn't afraid to go for it. You know, architecture is such a male-dominated field, but Haley didn't care. She refused to let her gender influence anything about her work. The office won't be the same without her. She is survived by her husband, Derek Rome, local blah blah blah, and mother. A memorial will be held on Saturday. Blah blah blah. Oh. Family welcomes flowers and well wishes. A candlelight vigil is being held in the lobby of the building tomorrow at 8 p.m. These countertops were supposed to be stain proof. As soon as we had them installed, Derek spilled red wine on them to prove to me that they were. <laughs> We were both wrong. <laughs> I think she's going a little crazy. Building the 
this house with Derek was something special. It was perfect. Is Derek still thinking about me? How did he find out? Is he still living in this house? Our house? Oh, I have so many questions and no way to answer them. There are so many things that I have to leave behind and I don't want to. Am I ready to just... stop? I don't think I really have a choice. I think... Okay, Haley. Just like a presentation. We can handle whatever comes next. Ready? Oh. Huh. That was the ending. That was Rome. The game is free on Steam. And um for a free game, I thought that was pretty cool. Like some of those trippy effects when the hallway was like twisting. Yeah, there's just some cool visual stuff. And uh, pretty creepy with the lights blowing out and like the voice. I didn't understand what that voice was. Almost like demon voice that we were hearing once or like two or three times. I know the crying voice was her husband, but I'm not sure what the. Maybe it was just like a. I don't know. Demon, the devil, or something? I doubt it though, because it seems like she was a good person. I don't get what that was implying. But yeah, that was Rome. Interesting game. I went from thinking her husband was gonna pop out with like a knife to um, thinking like it was an episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark where uh, the girls in the dollhouse to finding out she was just in the afterlife and she died in an elevator on accident crazy makes sense where the elevator music is playing or at the beginning it's pretty cool and the elevator music played when you're first walking around the house. Nice touch. <laughs> 